You'll know what it is, it's the mob. Today I have Rick from Splatterhouse 2 from Onbox Industries. And I think with this figure it was well deserved. The first figure, or the first sculpt I should say, that was done by Retrobrand, it kind of felt like it was Jason as opposed to Rick. So this one really feels like video game Rick. I know that's what they were shooting for on the first game is kind of a Jason-esque feel. So I think therefore that was the sculpt but this one really feels like it is Rick. The last Zectron is the one that did the sculpt. He did a great job at it. Anything that Zectron does is really excellent in my opinion. The issue that I have that I could talk about is that the waist joint popped out when I was posing it and taking video of it for this video. It's really nothing. You could just pop it back in. I know people took pictures of theirs, how theirs came popped out at the waist. It's like, just pop it back in. You know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. But for me, the only thing that happened is that the gun split in half and i'll show you right now so what you have to do to remedy that is just re-glue it when i was putting it in his hand it just popped in half i never experienced that before so i mean it's no big issue really so just put some glue on it if your waist joint comes undone just pop it back in it's nada but overall like i said it just feels like rick from splatterhouse I much prefer this figure over the first edition. But this is Rick from Splatterhouse 2 from Onbox Industries. It's the mob.